Hi, and welcome to my homeschooling channel. Today, we are gonna be talking all about fourth grade math and what's working, what's not working, and what we're doing differently. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay. Welcome to my homeschooling channel. I'm a mama of two. We've been homeschooling for five years. Um, just a little backstory. I am very mathematically minded, um, and my children are as well. Love math. Um, it's just how my brain works. This is our standard poodle. He's not part of the math, but he likes to be. <laughs> um, so if you're new here, again, welcome, and let's just get started. So what I'm going to tell you all today may actually come as a surprise. Um, we started this year with BJU Press Math 4. Y'all, I have taught BJU Kindergarten their first grade, their second grade, and their third grade to my children. We've never used their videos. We've always just done the teacher guide, and I've always been their teacher. And it's worked so well for my son. Again, we've tried different things along the way, as most homeschoolers have. And truthfully, y'all, I am sad to say that it does not work this year. Um, I wanted the older edition. They just came out with the fourth edition. I ended up with the newest edition because that's all they had available. And the teacher's guide, y'all, is terrible. Um, it is written for a classroom setting, which all their guides are for math, but this one in particular talks about using transparencies and using different things that as a homeschooler, you don't have access to. And I'll be honest, the first couple lessons, you know, were kind of a review for my son. And when I started reading from the teacher's guide, how I normally did, just how I've done all the other previous years, it was a disaster. And my son said, mom, please stop reading. Just let me do the workbook, which y'all know that's not going to work for math forever. So needless to say, we have put that to the side. Um, I emailed BJU Press because they said they would be very helpful. And their solution was for me to purchase their, I think it's like an additional $300 video lessons. And truthfully, y'all, that defeats the purpose for me of parent-led homeschooling. So needless to say, we're having to put that to the side and I'm going to tell you what we're doing now. So we went back to Singapore. Um, I have used Singapore briefly with my son for maybe about six months. Before this, we've used um, Singapore Standards Editions. And this year, I actually went with the Singapore Primary Math U.S. Editions. And so um, we started in 4A. And this is just their... The student's book, which is black and white. And then you have a textbook, which it does have color, but it's just kind of this monotone. I don't know that you call it monotone, but it's not bright and beautiful. The standards edition has a lot more color. Um, and so how the lessons go is you do the textbook and then you do the workbook. And I think Singapore is great for a student that loves math and gets math and it's very mental math focused and so in the back of the guide of uh, the teacher's guide you'll actually have this is the home instructors edition um, you'll actually have mental math um, and then it gives you just your lessons and it also in the front of the guide it gives you a schedule and so when we started this so mind you we started bju it wasn't working i ordered this um I had not taken into consideration last school year, my son sustained a major concussion and it took a long time to heal as a nurse, y'all. It was a whole lot more involved than I ever thought. Um, it was a whole lot more substantial of a head trauma than I imagined. He was playing musical chairs and hit, um, got knocked down and hit the back of his occipital bone. Anyways, needless to say, everything he learned last school year with a lot of the multiplication division, long division is gone. He is like a blank in his mind. So when we started doing long division in this, he just, I could just tell he wasn't struggling. He was doing okay, but I just felt like we needed to go back over some basics. And so the other thing we're implementing this year is Kate Snow's multiplication facts that stick and her division facts that stick. We have used in the past her um, addition and subtraction facts that stick. I love Kate Snow. And in fact, my youngest daughter or my youngest does her whole math curriculum, with it, which is called Math with Confidence, but they don't, they don't go to fourth grade. So anyways, 
yet. Um, each year she brings out a new one, so it's not, my son would not be able to use it right now. But these have been so helpful. So what we've done is we finish the multiplication facts that stick, um, and you, and she gives you games, she gives you ways to do it, but it's not rote memorization, which for a math kid, they don't need to just memorize their table. They need to be able to use them and um, implement them. So again, love that. And again, we are just using Singapore. Um, I'm sad about Bob Jones. Let me know your, your opinions and how things have gone if you've done math for. In fact, I looked in a parent group and one lady said, well, I'm a math teacher. And so I just rewrite my curriculum. Well, that's great, but that defeats the purpose of parent-led teaching directly from the guide. So again, not bashing them. I just know in the future we won't use them for that reason. Um, I hope this was helpful. Let me know what you're using for fourth grade math. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.